Hey, welcome to the biology wet lab. Come on in. Thank you. So what are you studying? So currently I am studying a Bachelor of Nutrition, Masters of Dietetics and Food Innovation. And what's the difference between nutrition and dietetics? Ooh, good question. So the difference between nutrition and dietetics is that dietetics is an accredited health professional degree, meaning we're able to prescribe diets for people with certain health conditions. Can you give me an example? An example of one uh, would be obesity and diabetes. But if I want to make it related to myself, I'd say Graves' disease is a massive one as well. What's that? So Graves' disease is the overactivity of our thyroid hormone, meaning that you know our body is overworking itself. So, it, and it mostly involves our metabolism as well as our heart rate. So what kind of subjects would you do in this lab? So the subject that I take here in my first year is human anatomy and physiology, specifically uh, human physiology here. Interesting. And what are you doing right now? So currently I'm partaking a blood glucose fasting test. Um, this will involve, this will be for individuals who are in risk of diabetes or have diabetes. So talk us through it. Okay, so the first thing that we have is our little lancer here. So how this works is we have this little purple cap, cap which we will prick onto our skin and that will basically release a needle that will have a little blood spurting out of it. After this, um, we have our little strips. So these strips is going to be what is going to grab our blood and we'll put it in our glucose monitor which will show the readings. And what kind of reading are we looking for? So for normal glucose levels, we would want it around four to six millimoles per liter, I'd say. Um, that's just to show that you're in healthy range with your glucose levels. So tell me a little bit more about what you do in your first year. What subjects did you do? So in my first year, um, I was able to take fundamentals of chemistry as well as our BAB subject, biology, molecules, cells, and genes. Another one we took was human anatomy and physiology, which is in this lab, and also our food science and biochemistry uh, course. Where are you up to now? So I'm off to the food kitchen. Can we come? Yeah, of course. Thanks. All right, so this is our food science kitchen. I'll be in here more in our second year and also later years to come as well. Cool space. So before we chat about your second year, can you tell me a little bit more about the placement that you did in first year? Yeah, sure. So um, I was able to partake in a pharmacy placement as well as a dietetics placement. For my dietetics placement, I was able to go to Kellogg's. And so what did you do there at Kellogg's? So at Kellogg's, I was able to learn the different operations of the business. So be seeing how they're able to use the products they make from the farm into manufacturing on things that you can see on the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Also working with the team, um, seeing how they could foster new ideas to make new things like cereal. So in this space here, what kind of things could you be doing in your second year? So we'll be focusing on portion control our uh, culinary skills as well as our indigenous foods. When you say culinary skills, are you going to be learning how to actually cook? Yeah, so with our culinary skills, that means how we can cut certain meats as well as uh, how we can make things like bread. That's so interesting. What a fun course. So talk to me about portion control. What does that mean? So portion control, um, if you want to come here, that basically is our different macronutrients are our vegetables, proteins, and carbohydrates. So it's important that we have three serves of vegetables, uh, two serves of carbohydrates, which could be bread or rice, and our protein as well. Just one serve, which could be lean protein, um, red meats, and also fish as well. So you said when you gave me the course title, you said nutrition, dietetics, and food innovation. What does food innovation mean? So innovation basically means paddock to plate. So how does our, uh, how does our food that come from the ground go into our shelves in our supermarkets and the whole manufacturing system behind it? Okay, and so when you finish this course, what do you think you'll do? Oh, good question. So after this course, I want to get into sports dietetics, being able to work with various of athletes to improve their athletic performance, as well as just maximizing their potential in general. Well, thank you so much for the tour. We'll show ourselves out. Yeah, no worries. Thank you.